Mary, I know what I'm going to do tomorrow and the next day and next year and a year after that. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm going to see the world. Yay! Yay! George Bailey, I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going out exploring someday. You watch. It's full of romance, that old place. I'd like to live in it. I couldn't face being cooped up for the rest of my life in a shabby little office. I want to do something big and something important. You know, George, I feel that in a small way, we are doing something important. I claim this institution is not necessary to this town. If Potter gets a hold of this building and alone, there'll never be another decent house built in this town. Uh, what's going on? Oh, by the bank examiner's here. He's here. Through some sort of an accident, my company shortened their accounts. I've got to raise $8,000 immediately. Where's that money, you silly, stupid old fool? You realize what this means? It means bankruptcy and scandal and prison. This town is no place for any man unless he's willing to crawl to Potter. I'm in trouble, Mr. Potter. I need help. I'm going to swear out a warrant for your arrest. Well, you'll probably already guess that George never leaves Petra Falls. A man down on Earth needs our help. That man will be thinking seriously of throwing away God's greatest gift. If it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. What'd you say? said, I wish I'd never been born. You've been given a great gift, George. Mary! That's my wife! A chance to see what the world would be like without you. They're not here, George. I have no children. I want to live again. I want to live again.